Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to see is a demo of how you can integrate um, well any control that is HTML based or JavaScript based into SoftBlazor. Basically the control that I'm going to show you this time is the map. Why? Because I need a map. My brother is opening a business and he needs a, he needs a map for his application. So I was thinking on going native for that and make an Android application and an iOS application. But in the end, like, well, SAF is my thing and Blazor is the new stuff. So I was thinking like, let's try it with Blazor. Let's see how hard can it be. And well, it was not like that hard. You need to understand how Blazor works. But if you understand that, then it's quite simple. So let me show you what I have here. This is the application. I copied the source of Blazor so I can like see, I mean the the Blazor part of SAS, so I can be like checking it out what it's doing. And then I implement my pro my own property editor and uh, for a Blazor component. And the Blazor component is of course the map. So let me stop this and I will run it. And I will show you two versions. I will show you the desktop version and also the mobile version. Because this application, I'm going to use it mostly for phones, but I want to have the same code base for um, desktop web and of course mobile. And I, I don't want to go through the app stores also. Okay, so this is the desktop version or the web version, whatever you want to name it. So this is admin as always. So this is a re like a test application, see there is nothing here. Uh, but in here in the domain object one, I have implemented my own property editor. And here I have some control properties. This is this will not be visible in the end. But then I have something like this. So this is the neighborhood and the address where I used to live in El Salvador when I was a child. And this is the one where I used to live before I moved to Russia. So let's say that the start location, the ABC in this case, is this one. So the map was pointing to St. Petersburg, Russia, at the beginning, because I set it to that location. And well, now let's find the two location, the target. So these both are my, I used to live here and then I used to live here. And if we put it like on mobile version, Let's see. Uh, let's, this looks super ugly, but maybe something like this. <clears throat> yeah, like this. So, uh, no, I need to change this. Okay. So this is how it will look like in a mobile. Looks nice. Um, you can move the map, you can change to satellite, you can drag and drop the pins, but that's okay for desktop. I mean, I'm not going, I I'm, I'm don't expect that the people will use this on desktop. They will use it on the phone. So with the magic of OBS, let me show you something. Let's see, I have too many monitors and too many windows. Just two monitors, but a lot of windows. Uh, okay, so let's see. Okay, so let me enable the, the phone here. So, okay. And I'm going to minimize this. Okay, so this, what you're seeing in here, I'm going to make it bigger, is my old Android phone. So I'm going to reload the page. So let's see, how do you reload it? Um, refresh. By the way, I'm using Android for this. So I can connect to my computer um, through the internet. So, okay. 
Um, there you go. Uh, that's the application. So let's write admin. Login, and I have here the phone in my hand. I can show it. You will not see, I guess, it, but okay. That's the same record that it was before in the other in the other screen. So the menu is here. It looks nice. I mean, it's really usable in mobile. So again, uh, the same. The map is focused in St. Petersburg, Russia, because I was doing a test for that and. If I zoom it out, you will see that those are two points in Russia near Netsky Prospect, actually in Admiralty Skaya. But I have this my address from childhood. So let's see. Where is this? Okay, it's here. So this is my childhood home where it says ABC. So I put a marker in there and then the other one which says DES. Sorry for the labels, I forgot to change it before the demo and I didn't want to start recording again. So the DEF is the target or the two address. So this is where I used to live before I moved to Russia. So just click there. So see, this is the map of San Salvador and Santa Tecla in El Salvador. Um, you can drag and drop the markers and you're getting the location actually in South. You can save this in a, in this object actually. Uh, you can zoom out, zoom in. You can change the the view to satellite, for example. So this is really neat. It's working and it's working really nice for mobile. I see like endless possibilities with this. I'm not that much a person who loves JavaScript in any way, but in the end, it's just a little bit. And you just have to set up the component basically that you want to show then from that everything else will be stay sharp. So that that's good. I mean I'm really liking this. And I don't know, I think it's something that will be easy to distribute. So this will be hosted on, on a Linux server in the end. So it I'm hoping that this will be like a good demonstration application of a public application for stuff. But well that's that's it for this video. Uh, I'm going I'm I'm going to work a little bit more in the map today, and when I have a finished version, I will record a new video so I can show the functionality. And well, that's it, guys, and see you in the next video.